Good afternoon, I'm Will Boddy with your local 10 News update. A woman sadly died in a two vehicle crash south of Jarrawangala this morning. A truck and a car collided on the Princess Highway between Armchair and 12 Mile Roads just before half past six. The driver of the car, a woman in her 30s, was treated by paramedics at the scene but sadly couldn't be saved. A crime scene has been established and the truck driver has been assisting police with their investigations. In some unsavoury news for Illawarra and South Coast parents, a new report has found teaching graduates are less prepared for the classroom than the OECD average. According to the Centre of Independent Studies, universities are pumping out graduates that cannot control students. New teachers are less prepared than those in other countries, with student behaviour and classroom management the biggest gaps. Extra live broadcasts will open across the Illawarra so more soccer fans can cheer on the Matildas on Wednesday night. The support for the Tillies has been huge and it's been great for locals to rally around Shell Harbour's Caitlin Ford. And in local sport, more than 2,500 people packed into Wynn Stadium yesterday to see some top-tier soccer action. Sydney FC, the Central Coast Mariners, the Wollongong Wolves and Sydney Olympic were all on show. The Wolves drew with MPL rivals Olympic 2-0 and Sydney FC and the Mariners went all the way to a gripping penalty shootout, Sydney winning that game. Taking a look at this afternoon's weather forecast now, a lot of rain is expected down the south coast with up to 25 millimetres in the Illawarra. Naruma reaching a top of 12 degrees. Marimbula, Batemans Bay and Nara all getting up to 13 and 15 the top temperature in Wollongong. I'll have more news for you next hour. Hope you stay with us and see you then.